All right, we're here with our fourth episode in our series of recipes, and we're talking about the first four fruits of the spirits. Can you say recipe with me? Are you ready? One, two, three. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Big shout out to an awesome fan of ours, Miss Lily B. That's right, Lily B. I heard that you're a huge, huge fan of Calvary Kids. And I just wanted to say, we are a huge fan of you. High five, are you ready? Now this quarantine has got me all messed up. Like messed up. Not because I've got to uh, you know keep myself busy inside my house. Not because I've, I've got to work through YouTube. Which by the way, is not a big... Because we're doing pretty good. According to this, we got 100 subscribers. Check, 100 subscribers. <gasps> Boom! High five from far away. Fist bump. What's really tough for me is, um... I have not been able to play... I have not been able to play... I haven't played soccer in a while. Stop it. Get some help. Now, if you remember, we have been talking a lot about the fruits of the spirit and love and, and in our previous video here we used a pineapple to help us understand love that there are outside parts of the, the pineapple that are rough and tough but the inside is yummy and we also said that, that there are some people whose hearts are nasty but there are some people whose hearts are yummy which are another way of saying good hearts and that's what we're covering now with the fruits of the spirit and currently on love now, this whole quarantine thing ha has been rough on me. I, I miss soccer. I want to play soccer. Soccer, soccer, soccer. But I choose. I choose to be love. I choose to focus on the sweet parts, the yummy parts. Although I'm stuck inside, you know what I've been able to do? I've been able to spend more time with my family. That's right, more time. We've been playing more games, doing more crafts, going on more hikes, doing all kinds of things as a family. And for me, that is sweet. I choose to be happy, yummy. Even though the quarantine is rough and tough, I choose to be sweet on the inside. But what normally happens, right? What normally happens when things get tough and rough? Normally, we're all like sad <laughs> and frustrated. <laughs> and how do you normally respond when you're sad and frustrated? Does it look anything like this? No, leave me alone. I want to talk to you. No, go away. <laughs> Usually when we act that way, the people around us, the people we care about, get hurt. Not on the outside, but on the inside. We start to say mean things. We start to do mean things. And we don't even really mean it. All because our heart is sad and our insides are sad. But what does the Bible say? The Bible says, let's look at this. I got the Bible right here. Let's turn here to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. That's right, chapter 13. In verse 1 it says that if I speak without love, with no love, I'm just making a bunch of noise. Noise. 
a bunch of noise. Is it good noise or is it really weird and annoying noise? You know what? Let's do a little experiment together. Let's make some silly, weird, and annoying noises together. You ready? I'm gonna try. <laughs> I mean, we could really go on with all kinds of noises, but what would happen to the people around us? Would they want to be around us when we sound like that? Say no way, Pastor Ron. People don't want to be around that because it doesn't feel or sound or taste or anything yummy. When you speak with no love, it's like making noise. But when you speak out of love, that's yummy. That's something people want to hear. That's something people want to be around. That's something that I want to experience from you. But what else does the Bible say about love? Let's go on. It says here, we go down to verse 4. It says this, Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Love does not dishonor others. Love is not self-seeking. Love is not easily angered. Ooh. Love keeps no records of wrong. Love does not laugh with evil because it rejoices with the truth. Love protects. Love trust, love, hopes, and love perseveres. Love. And no matter how rough and tough and things life may throw at you, on the outside, you have the choice to be sweet and yummy on the inside. And just like in our video, we were working with a pineapple those pineapple pizzas we, we took them apart and we put them in our recipe and we put them somewhere else and we made other things sweet and yummy too and you have that power you have that ability God has created something yummy on the inside of you and he's called us to live out of the fruits of the Spirit He's called us to live with love. I want to do a fun little exercise. There's, there's four parts to this exercise. Four. Can you show me four fingers? One, two, three, and four. Very good. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is open up your Bible to 1 Corinthians chapter 13. You're going to go to verse 4. And you're going to get a blank sheet of paper. A blank sheet or a journal. A lot like mine. All right, a journal. And then you're going to write down, word for word, the passage of 1 Corinthians chapter 13, beginning with verse 4. You're going to write down, love is patient. Love is kind. Love, love, love. All the way down to where it says, love perseveres. All of it, word for word. The second thing you're going to do is do it all again, below it. Just go right down the book. You can do it one more time. Except this time, you're not going to write the word love. You're just going to put a line, an empty space. So it will look a lot like this. Empty space is patient. Empty space is kind. Empty space, empty space, empty space, empty space perseveres. Be a bunch of empty spaces there. The third thing you're going to do, number three, number three. Number three is you're going to fill your name into all the empty spaces. That's right, your name. So if I were doing mine, it would say, Pastor Ron is patient. Pastor Ron is kind. Pastor Ron does not envy. All the way down to where it ends at Pastor Ron perseveres. 
the fourth thing you're going to do, this is big, you're going to take this piece of paper and you're going to put it on your door, on your desk, on your wall, wherever you want. That way, the very next time, the very next time that life throws something rough at you, tough at you, sour at you, something you don't like, something you don't want, something that is not good, you can be like, I'm sad, I'm upset, but I'm going to choose to be sweet on the inside. I'm going to go find my, find my, find my poster that I made, my little note that I made. I patient. I am kind. I am not envious. I do not boast. I am not proud. I will not dishonor others because of my feelings. I am not self-seeking or self-centered or selfish. I am not going to be easily angered by this. I am not going to bring up the past the wrongs, someone else's failures. I'm not going to laugh at wrongdoings or evil or dirty jokes because I choose to rejoice and be happy about the truth that God has given me. I will protect, I will trust God, I will hope for the best and I will persevere because God has created you and me a yummy heart. That's all for today's video, guys. I believe in you. I trust you. And I trust that you will represent God's love as the first fruit of the Spirit. Be sure to hit that like button, comment, and share us with a friend. Everybody say bye, Pastor Mark.